Britain's highest court delivering a heavy blow to Prime Minister Boris Johnson and deepening political chaos in the UK barely a month before the nation is set to leave the European Union. The British Supreme Court has ruled Johnson illegally suspended Parliament in the crucial countdown to Brexit. The decision to advise Her Majesty to prorogue Parliament was unlawful because it had the effect of frustrating or preventing the ability of Parliament to carry out its constitutional functions without reasonable justification. The landmark decision was unanimous, dealing the Prime Minister a humiliating defeat. But he's made clear the setback will make no difference to his Brexit agenda. I have to say I strongly disagree uh, with what the justices have found. But I think the most important thing is we get on and deliver Brexit on October the 31st. The second question, therefore... The ruling said Johnson acted unlawfully when he asked the Queen to shut down Parliament for five weeks. Parliament has not been prorogued. It is for Parliament, and in particular the Speaker and the Lord Speaker, to decide what to do next. He's clear and unmistakable. What's Good next afternoon. is lawmakers returning to work. The Speaker of the House of Commons said they'll reconvene on Wednesday. Johnson has vowed the UK will exit the EU at the end of October with or without a divorce deal. Critics argued his suspension of Parliament, where Johnson lacks a majority, was an effort to stifle opposition over his Brexit agenda. Johnson out! Johnson the decision also leading to calls for Johnson to step down, including from opposition leader Jeremy Corbyn. I invite Boris Johnson, in the historic words, to consider his position and become the shortest serving Prime Minister there's ever been. Johnson was not in the UK to hear the verdict, but rather in New York, where he's attending the United Nations General Assembly. When asked by a reporter if he would resign, he refused. We need to get on with Brexit. That's the overwhelming view of the British people, and uh, that's what we're going to do. President Donald Trump meeting on the sidelines with Johnson lent his support. That was a very nasty question from a great American reporter. He's not, I'll tell you, I know him well. He's not going anywhere. Don't worry about him. Johnson is going to leave the UN and fly back to the UK from New York so that he can be in Parliament on Wednesday when it resumes sitting.